I was facilitating the plenary session yesterday on uh, financing local adaptation in urban areas. I think uh, a, a few of the key messages was that we have to recognize that urban uh, areas are very much important when discussing adaptation to climate change. We can't ignore urban issues. Um, and we also have to recognize that urban areas are very complex areas. So any actions taken to address climate change adaptation have to be taken at multiple levels uh, and recognizing the capacities of um, existing, um, recognizing the capacities that are of communities in urban areas uh, who are already carrying out actions to build their resilience to climate change, um, to develop the capacities of local governments and municipalities to understand the impacts of climate change and how they might plan and manage activities to address these, and also open up uh, windows to finance urban resilience directly because currently it is very difficult for finance to be reached uh, by municipalities. Uh, the session provoked a lot of debate, um, I think because we had panelists uh, representing various sectors from the community level to the municipality and also broader, uh, more broadly the philanthropic uh, sector and um, debate focused uh, partly around uh, the capacities of communities and how what they're already doing um, contributes to climate change adaptation. Um, and I think we have to recognize that a lot of climate impacts uh, will have effects, um, for example, on health. So if you're talking about an informal settlement that doesn't um, have access to basic sanitation, if climate change means frequent floods, then it's really important to ensure that this basic sanitation is in place. And community groups are already taking action to put in such basic sanitation. If they can work with municipalities to scale up these types of activities, then uh, all the better. I think it was one of the issues that came up is also how how can uh, we ensure that the community level funds, which are often quite small scale savings groups, how can they access or how can climate finance feed into that? And I think what's being shown by the activities of community groups is they have uh, the capacity to manage these funds. Uh, they ensure that these funds are transparent and accountable to the members who contribute to the funds and therefore this demonstrates their broader capacity to manage funds for financing larger scale projects, for scaling up what's already being done. So rather than reinventing the wheel, why not build upon what's already being done at the local level. We had a number of advocacy hours. Firstly, to recognize the importance of addressing uh, urban resilience. Uh, secondly, ensuring that there are urban windows for financing resilience so that municipalities can access finance directly. And uh, thirdly, recognize the capacities of local communities to uh, plan and manage and implement activities and to manage finance for resilience building activities as well.